I'm 52 years old, and I can tell you something. Maybe some of you youngsters won't know. People my age and older will know. Food used to taste real, real good and used to be awesome. And you, you get older and you start missing that. And you want to know why the food don't taste as good as it used to. The products have changed that we used to cook with. They now are putting chemicals in it and all kinds of things in it. And, and, and it's totally changed. It's not what, or what our grandparents and our great grandparents used to cook with. Now hold on. I know what you're probably thinking. Oh my God, here's some this way off the chart person that thinks that he knows. No, that's not. Hey, I love my coal ones. I love that thing, electric thing that makes water vapor. You know, I love those things. I, I'm not saying I'm innocent. And I also did a lot of bad things when I was younger that I knew were bad for me. But I did it anyway. But today, you're doing things that you don't even know that's bad for you. You have no clue that they're bad for you because you think they're good for you. So you buy them in a grocery store and then you take it home and you're poisoning yourself and you don't even realize it. You want to know why the food doesn't taste the same? Because capitalism at its worst has gotten bad. Now they're making money off of giving you chemicals and hurting you. You women that can't get pregnant, right there, it's in the food. You men that are had low testosterone at a young age, right there, it's in the food. It's all got to do with the stuff that we eat. Now look, you say, well, hey man, you're so, no, I'm not saying you can't have any of that stuff. You can have all of it you want to, but put a label on it like you do with alcohol and tobacco. Put a label on it and tell people what's in it. No, you don't do that. We just keep cooking it and eating it. And then the next thing you know, we get to be 52 years old and all of a sudden we're sick. I wasn't sick when I was younger. So now that I'm sick, the pharmaceutical industry wants to pump a bunch of crap in me that does no good. Because the true, true medicine is like what the Indians used to say, which I am Indian, I got Indian blood in me is the food, man. It's what you eat, it's mother nature. You believe in God or don't believe in God, I don't care, but mother nature provides everything we need. And if you eat the right stuff, these things that are wrong with your body go away. You eat the bad stuff, which is man-made crap, you're gonna get sick. Now my wife said to me, she said, but Dickie, there's stay-home moms, and there's his mom, soccer mom, blah, 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 because even she was one. And you're going everywhere, all the places, all the time. And you ain't got time to make, you know, hour meals and two-hour meals. So you just buy the stuff from the grocery store, throw it in the crock pot, and cook it. Well, I say to you, soccer moms, good moms, stay-home moms, super moms, I say to you, why don't you just let your child go to the crack house? Why don't you just drop him off in the ghetto somewhere and let him just go survive because that's what you're doing. You're feeding him poison. And I know you love your kids. My wife's Italian. And I don't know if y'all know anything about Italians, but they love their kids. Yet, because you're inconvenienced or you've got so much doing running around, chasing them in softballs and taking them over here and taking them over there, you go and buy the crappiest frozen chemicalist crap and throw it in a crock pot and feed it to them. Or you stop at the fast food joints and feed it to them. You know how easy it is to make pizza and you know how many of y'all order pizza? Pizza's full of poison now, but you make it at home, it's good. Pasta, if you're over in Italy or Europe and you eat pasta, they lose weight. Not here, we get fat and we get sick. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you, it's not, it's not the potato. Potatoes are good for you. It's not the potato. It's the stuff you're putting on the potato that man made. I started posting less because I kept seeing creators. And I'm not gonna call anybody out. That's not what I'm about. I would never hurt anybody from doing whatever they wanna do, man. God bless you, do what you want. But I'm telling you right now, I could have done the seasonings. I could have done all that stuff. I've got that fame, that following, whatever you want to call it. I could have made the money, but I didn't. You want to know why? Because for the last six months, I've been looking at a way to make a better product and a better food for you. And I'm working on it. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm working on it. 
Because whatever I, whatever I sell you is going to be real because I'm honest and true and I care about my kids and I care about your kids and I care about my neighbor's kids and the whole town's kids and the whole county's kids and the whole state of Texas kids and all of the goddamn world and all of them of the, everywhere. I care. I can't just go make a buck on people. I'm not going to do that, man. Just not. My wife says I'm too passionate. She says I got too much heart, and sometimes that gets me in trouble. But I also know that I've also got the thing where I tell the truth. And I know people don't like that sometimes, but I would rather be told the truth than a lie. And here's the truth. I'm not no tree hugger. I'm not worried about the earth melting and the caps melting and all that. I'm not worried about that because that's the minutest thing. We are killing ourselves in America with the food. And hey... Let's go political for just a second. I ain't no Trumper. I ain't no uh, Kamala. I ain't Democrat. I ain't Republican. But I will say, RFK Jr., he sees it. And I give that man credit for that. He sees it. And he's trying to get these companies to stop making that extra money that's making you sick. And not does it just make you sick, but it also feeds the pharmaceutical industry, which makes them rich. Stop doing this crap. You can cook at home. And if you can't and you say you don't have the time, well, guess what? Make the time. You don't let your kids go to the drug addict's house or the, you don't let them go get alcohol or tobacco, do you? Make the time. That's what being a parent's all about is making the hard choices. I know I'm passionate, and maybe it's a downfall, maybe it's a good thing, I don't know. You can decide that, but I know for me, in my heart, I've done a lot of bad things in my life, and I'm trying to do everything I can now to do good for this world, this everything. And I just went somewhere, and I'm not going to call the place out. It was a, It's an event they have every year, and I had been there in 30 years, and I went. And what is there? And it's a food type thing. What is there? Vendor crap food. It used to be the old mothers, the grandmothers, the daughters, the sons, the fathers making all the real good food. They sold it for charity and they took the money and they used it to promote kids, to promote health. They're not even doing that anymore. And it's sad. The elders have died off and capitalism at its worst, I'm not against capitalism, so don't call me a political crazy person, Capitalism at its worst is hurting you. They're hurting you so they can have that second home, that third home, that third vacation home, that fourth vacation. It, they got to stop, man. They got to stop. Now, again, you might look at me and go, man, you're going nuts. No, no, I'm not going nuts. I tell you what I am doing. I care. I care about my kids right now. I care about your kids right now, and the many kids come along. I'm not worried about the voter caps melting, because we have to be able to move the machinery and stuff. But the food that we eat that we're putting into our body does not need to be poison. I might lose some followers over this, and I don't care. I mean, I may have younger generation that go, oh my God, this guy's a cuckoo. And I may even have guys, my, I don't think guys my age or women and men my age would think that. Because I think they know, because I think they they taste it. And then what I also know is, is that you talk about, well, it's cheaper. No, it's not that it's cheaper, it's faster. And everything fast is bad. Good food takes time. And you can find the time to cook good food. You can, I promise you. And you find that time just like you would with anything else. If you care enough, you'll put it in a part of your day and you will make it a daily habit. My wife, God bless her, she loves sugar so much. And that sugar has made my wife sick. And I'm tired of it. Now I've got my wife doing better, but do you know how hard it is? Just let me tell you this. Sugar and heroin, sugar is as addictive as heroin. Do you not understand that? And how much sugar is in your food? Fat-free sugar. That's what that is. Get rid of the fat. Pour the sugar in. Oh. It may be a long video, and I'm by myself. 
And generally, I get my wife to watch my stuff before I post it. Not this time. I'm posting it. And I don't care if you get mad at me, you don't like me. I, I don't care. But I do know this. When you see me cook, I do my best to make sure that the food I cook is real food. Whole food. Less chemicals. I try to teach you how to make your own pasta, your own bread, your own ice cream. All of it. I'm just trying to help. But I realized I can help you more by trying to put out a product or something that is better for you. And I think maybe lead the rest of the industry to do the same thing. I don't have nothing to sell today, and I may not have nothing to sell for the next couple months. I don't know when it is, but I'm in the works of trying to get something to make it better. Like the salt in your Cajun seasonings, the salt is table salt. It will give you a heart attack. But if you put real salt in it, sea salt, real sea salt, not that stuff they're selling all over the internet, it is healthy for you. I know, because I started putting real salt in my water, a pinch every day, and guess what? My blood pressure went down, not up, down. I'm 52 years old, man. And I tell you what, don't think I ain't got some drives still left in this tank, I do. But my drive ain't for me no more. My life's over. I'm done. I'm at the end, man. I'm in my last chapter with my beautiful bride who I love so much and my children. I'm at the end, man. I'm here to pass on wisdom. And you can take this wisdom and use it to make your life better. Or you can take this wisdom and just keep ignoring it. Because that's what they hope you do. And when I say they, you know who I'm talking about the food industry, and the pharmaceutical industry. They don't care. It's all about this. Like I said, you wouldn't send your kids to the crack house, would you? But you're gosh damn feeding them chemicals every night. I'm going to end this thing now. And they, I apologize to anybody if it hurts your feelings or anything like that. No. You know what? I don't apologize. Because you need to wake up. You need to listen. If you're a young person and you're eating at a fast food restaurant, you're going, it ain't bothering me. It's because you're young. When you get older, it will change. Trust me. 52 here, and my mom's 70-something, and it's affected her. She didn't have these problems when she was younger, and I didn't have these problems when I was younger. The food industry has changed the product. And not just that. When you're younger, you can handle it better. Your body can handle it better. As you get older, your body gets weaker and it starts shutting down. And it can't handle that bad stuff. Not no more. So follow me. Don't follow me. I don't care. But I can tell you this. If you do follow me, I'm going to show you how to make real food. Not with cans, canned goods, and, and packets with all the poisoning. And if I do put something in there, it'll be because I don't know yet. But when I figure it out, I'll change that too. But I'm not going to start sitting here going, let's make a, a beat and put it in a crock pot and let's put it in a can of mushroom, can of cream corn. and all. all that crap's poison, man. And I see these guys out there, man, these 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 influent or what social media chefs, whatever you want to call them, and they got millions of followers and they're they're putting out crap. They're hurting you. They're doing exactly what the food industry wants you to do. That's why their videos go viral. I'm trying to show you how my grandparents and my great-grandparents cook. You can cook like this. It's not hard. It's easy. Look, I've been on my soapbox long enough. Again, if you listen to everything, I thank you for listening. And, and please take my advice. I, I, as I'm just an honest person. I, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. And I... And I just want to tell you that I love you. I love my neighbor. I love my neighbor's kids. I love my, my, my town's kids, uh, the city kids, the state kids, uh, kids of America, and I love the world. I, 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 don't, I don't want to see anybody hurt, and there's no sense of us all getting sick when we don't need to be sick. Let's get sick and die of old age, huh? Let's just get, you know, where it just runs out. I love you guys, and you guys that follow me, you know I'm honest. You know I love. That's why you don't see me promoting stuff. I could be making a lot of money being an influencer like I am, or a social media, whatever the heck you want to call this. But I don't because I won't promote crap. I just won't do it, and I I, I won't do it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it.
You know, I say at the end of my videos, I say right on and yeah, man. Well, I'm going to say this to you. Instead of me saying it, you say it. You tell me right on, yeah, man. God bless you. I love you.